I believe if you want to train young people for a creative career, you need to do it extremely well in many areas. Individual attention to stu for students, you need to have good lecturers. We offer right now courses in graphic design. It's a two-year diploma with an added year for advanced diploma. We have the same for fashion design. And next year, for the first time, we will also introduce interior design. Now, I believe that young students need not only their manual skills to develop, but also prepare themselves for the world. As the internet goes today, you're not just isolated in Australia for design, it is a worldwide event. We are one of the first colleges that I know of that actually take our students on field trips overseas. This year we had our first 20 odd students going to Paris and London and I think that opened up their eyes and they came back with dreams. Many of them want to go back for a job as soon as they finish the, their program. And we're even planning to extend this. I would ideally like to have a little campus in Europe and take our students on a four, eight, 12 week study tour where they can make field trips to different cities, Italy, France, England, Germany, to develop a better appreciation about design worldwide. When I was given the task by Carl to design this new campus, my idea was to give this campus a sharp, clean and modern design. I decided to go for white walls, black frames and lots of glass and concrete flooring. I also wanted to create huge rooms with lots of windows looking at the ocean. I just want to give people the wow factor. Hi, I'm Peter Dwyer, and I run the fashion design department for the Institute of Design with an incredible team of dedicated staff who are working in the industry. What we do is we give you the tools here in this department to help you realise your own visions for fashion. Now, we teach you from design through to illustration, through to pattern making, gun construction, eventually to be a very strong professional as a young fashion designer. And from there, help you present your own unique visions for fashion that speaks about your messages and what you want the world to know about you as a designer and the visions that you have for fashion for the body. What I want for the graphics department is to make it as close as possible to reality, to actually make the students feel that like they're working in a real studio. We have lecturers who are still practicing designers, so they come in and they, they teach and then the next day they're working as designers, so they're still relevant, which is extremely good for the students. We're actually introducing a third year that will focus solely on preparing the students for industry. Instead of having your traditional classes for two hours, we're actually going to get the students to come in and work nine to five for three days a week or maybe four days a week. And they need to be self-directed in their learning. We will still have lectures that um, introduce them to business studies and um, more industry practice, but most of the time they'll be self-generated learning as if you're actually working in a real studio. All the lecturers here at the Institute are up to date and within the industry themselves, having their own private businesses or working for firms, which is good. And that just allows us to be up to date as well within our content that we're learning. And I feel that's very important. I just want them to feel free to apply any job they want, to be anywhere in this world and say to the job in New York, yes, I'm ready for it. Or the job in Paris, I'm fine with that. 
to have that sense of freedom to choose what they really want to do. I'm often asked, what is the most rewarding aspect of your institute? And I think it is actually after the job is done. When our students graduate, you see them from school leavers to young adults progressing, that's okay, but then they're going away. But then they come back six months, 12 months later, and they have a job and they say to me, or their parents say to me, God, Carl, thank you so much for having done this. It changed our life and our students are then semi-professional already. They have more confidence because they have a job. And that transition is probably the most beautiful and rewarding result when you are in the training of young people, to give them a future and to see the result that they're actually successful in doing so. And that has nothing to do with money or, or, or education. It is simply an emotional thing that you can't put a price on it. And we have many memories from students that are still in touch with us years after and they became our friends. And I think that is probably the most beautiful thing.